Tonight, new details in the death of a man who died in Atlanta police custody last August and the settlement the city of Atlanta could soon pay out to his family. Tracy A. McPeer reports from the gas station in southwest Atlanta where the arrest and altercation took place. Well, tonight it looks like the city of Atlanta will soon pay the man's family almost $4 million after police responded to this BP in August of last year. Now they responded to reports of Ricardo Dorado destroying property. Later, he died in police custody. Uh, our advice was to, from, from our lawyers, was to go ahead and accept the settlement. And Councilmember Michael Julian Bond says that's what the Public Safety Committee did on Monday, unanimously voting to pay Ricardo Dorado's family $3.75 million after Dorado died in police custody August 21st, 2022. According to the Fulton County Medical Examiner, Dorado died of cardiac arrest while being restrained by law enforcement in the prone position. This was complicated by coronary artery disease, methamphetamine toxicity, and blunt head trauma. A 70% blockage in his veins. And so, you know, it, it's, it's kind of, you know, how do you determine what really was the cause of his death or either was it the drug use? Was it the uh, his exertion, mm -hmm. you know, during this confrontation mm -hmm. or was it all of it? Does his own decision and behavior come into play at all? Well, yes, I mean, his behavior was very threatening mm -hmm. uh, prior to the arrival of the police. According to an Atlanta police incident report, Dorado vandalized gas pumps and even jumped on a customer's car. The, the folks who called 911 actually uh, shot a bullet at him. They failed personally, their lives personally threatened by his behavior. Mm -hmm. He uh, allegedly damaged cars and, and, and ripped off a license plate. And a source tells 11 Alive that during the altercation, Dorado was kept in a prone position for 17 minutes. They tell us the video also showed Dorado yelling out, I can't breathe, more than five times. The full city council now must approve that settlement. Councilmember Bond says that, that should happen on Monday. Now coming up at 6, what Bond says happened to the officers involved. In southwest Atlanta, Tracy A. McPeer, 11 Alive News.